Welcome to chapter number two. Chapter number two is a fascinating chapter because it kicks us off in a discussion of organizational uh, culture and things of that nature. Um, to say that the external environment affects organizational culture is uh, kind of an understatement. Let's understand that it is a subject that is um, it's very fluid, like we discussed in chapter one. It's very fluid. It is remarkably diverse, and it's becoming more complex every day. So that external environment, it, the idea then for managers in relation to it is to keep their eye on that external environment and the changes it brings to their daily operational life. Uh, you know, if you're for, let's see, how does that go? There's a, there's a saying, if you're at four, knowledge is forewarned. If you know what's going on, you can kind of see things before they happen or at least not be caught flat-footed. Um, now, as this external environment relates to the organizational culture, it's vitally important to understand that culture, in a, in a simple sense, really means habits, the way people do things individually and as a group. There's nothing sacred about culture necessarily, but there are cultures that are more successful than others, that just like there are more business businesses, more... Um, that are some that are some are more competitive, more successful than others. Apple Computer has been wildly successful as of the last few years, and formerly they weren't. Well, what's the difference? Well, a lot of its culture, a lot of its can be traced back to senior management, such such as Steve Jobs, the drive to excellence, and those kind of things, and people assimilating to the culture of the organization and contributing what they know and what they know how to do and how they can add and bring value. So uh, the culture, in a sense, is, I know we bring racial cultures or identities and things like that. In a sense, you, you have to be able to step away from that and forge a work culture that adapts to the market you're trying to serve and the competitors you're trying to best because it is not a social experiment. Recall, whether it's a for-profit or a non-profit, we're in this business to generate revenue because we're delivering a product or a service that is of value to the market. If it's not, consumers will go elsewhere, whether they be business consumers or uh, retail type of environment. So understand it for what it is. It's a means to an end. And we want to develop a culture that gives us competitive advantage. So read your text carefully and uh, I will see you in class.